Hello friends, this video on fun with magnets part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, when you talk about uh, a magnet, so there are certain things which are very important uh, in terms of structure of a magnet. So, in order to understand which part of the magnet is like most strong, which part of the magnet attracts the most, what you can do is take a bar magnet, place it on a sheet of paper, sprinkle some iron filings on that sheet of paper, okay? After some time, just try to observe the pattern that is formed. So you will see that the iron filings will get, you know, like they will get arranged, they will arrange themselves in a pattern like this. So what do you see? You, go, you see that huge amount of iron filings are stuck to the two ends of the magnet. So as compared to the middle part of the magnet, the ends have huge amount of iron filings. So here you see the concentration of iron filings are more at the two ends. So is this a magic? Why did the iron filings arrange themselves in this specific pattern? So this tells us something very very important. So this tells us that any magnet, this magnet especially, the bar magnet has two poles and towards the poles more magnet, more uh, attraction is taking place. Now the question is what do these poles indicate? So basically these poles indicate directions. Now this might be confusing you all the more. That how come the poles of a magnet which, which just attracts a certain materials like you know, iron, nickel and uh, cobalt, how can they tell us about directions? So that sounds surprising but now we will see how magnet finds direction. So here again I will tell you a small story like you know in, in the long time ago there was an emperor in China. So this emperor he had a statue of a lady in his chariot. So in his chariot, this, there was a statue like this. And then in that statue, the, la the lady always had an extended arm. And then her extended arm always pointed towards the south direction. So you see, this was the extended arm. And this extended arm always pointed towards the south direction. Now it doesn't matter whichever direction uh, the chariot is moving. But some the, the lady will rotate and it will always correctly point towards the south direction. So basically that statue of lady acted as a direction finder for the emperor and that's how he used to locate places. Now that sounds quite interesting right that how come the lady was able to rotate and always align her extended arm towards the south direction. So from here started the concept that the poles of a magnet tells us direction. So in fact, because of this property of magnet, magnets were widely used to find directions or to tell directions, especially in uh, ships which, which used to sail over long distances in the ocean because it, it is all the more difficult to find directions in ocean. So for navigation purposes, magnets were widely used. So this property of magnet was like very you know surprising and it was very significant at the same time so now we will go ahead and we will look at some of the very basic properties of different magnets thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates Thank you once again.